Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Welcome to my channel. My name is Samuel and I want to make self-growth normal. If you want to make self-growth normal, because who doesn't want to make self-growth normal and I also don't want to do it alone, then make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps with SEO and ranking and all this other stuff and I really appreciate it because so much work goes into making these videos. So a huge thing about this book is that every now and then so many of us have looked up at the night sky and wondered what does it all mean? How does it work? And what is my place in the universe? This book is a is a brief introduction to major ideas and breakthroughs, these discoveries in the field of astrophysics. It's very enthralling the way he talks about the fragility of life on Earth with these different stars, what happened before the beginning, supernovas and antimatter. Now, instead of simply hyping this book up, I'm gonna flat out say that I will acknowledge this is a very difficult thing to the to find interesting to the to, to the degree it may or may not be talked about in the book but the further I got into the book, the more I really found myself getting into it. I found that things like, you know, dark matter and multiverses, we know a little about, but there's so, so, so much we don't know. And then the author talks about Einstein and something called Lamba. Lamb? No, Lambda. And it's like, Einstein came up with this thing, and no, I don't think you can write an, a, a book about astrophysics without talking in depth about Einstein and his discoveries in it. But Lambda is what's called the the cosmological constant, this vacuum energy. It, it's this stuff that sucks in, like here, I'll show you. Look at this picture. Our universe is 13.8 billion years old. All that sucking toward the inflation on the left, I think that's Lambda. Lambda is such a weird sounding name, but apparently Einstein's biggest mistake was thinking that Lambda was Einstein's biggest mistake. The author has his ways of explaining things that sound so random if you just mention them in the middle of a, any conversation that's not about astrophysics. But he explains why these things are the way they are and that they actually, they actually make sense in the context that he talks about them. These are things that you would never expect that, but I guess it's true. If the Pillsbury Doughboy were a figure skater, then fast spins would be a high risk activity. And I don't know about you, but the planet Saturn pops into my mind with every bite of a hamburger I take. These are some of the most stupendous claims I have ever heard. If that's hard to do, then imagine stuffing about a billion elephants into a chapstick casing. More bacteria live and work in one centimeter of my colon than any number of people who ever existed in the world. Some of the air you just breathed passed through the lungs of Napoleon, Beethoven, Lincoln, and Billy the Kid. There's an asteroid named after the author, apparently, which he deserves. But at the same time, he also says that this is nothing to be big headed about because apparently there's an asteroid named after James Bond and another one after Santa Claus. But that Neil deGrasse Tyson's, his asteroid is not heading toward Earth anytime soon. So that's good. The ending of this book is one of the most beautiful endings of any book I have ever heard. I will give, I will give it to the man. I'm never going to say that in any of my videos again. <laughs> that was real. Pretend the last like 10 seconds never happened. <laughs> he says that sometimes he loses sight of Earth and that, you know, the fact that there are like starving children and people who are killing each other because of because of the gods they believe in or God they believe in. He, he forgets that people and their and their like their children and their children and their children were, will pay for the lack of caring that we give to our environment today. But he remembers all, uh, uh, nonetheless that the universe is bigger than these things. And this is so odd, but it kind of makes sense. The more he learns about both, the more liberated he feels than depressed. He explains how we might actually be descendants of aliens. And there is just, this book is fucking absurd, okay? I really liked it a lot. Originally, I thought it was kind of boring because it's astrophysics and there's just something about the idea of astrophysics other than what I mentioned at the beginning of the review. But dude, come on. It's Neil deGrasse Tyson. Quotes. The universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. No, you cannot build a time machine that will enable you to go back and kill your mother before you were born. 
it violates causality laws. If you are overweight on Earth, do not blame dark matter. Science isn't just about seeing, it's also about measuring. There are more things in heaven to Earth ratio than imagined in your philosophy. You need to live in a nation whose government values the search to understand humanity's place in the universe. Direction one. I always try to take note of when the author has their own direction one, which usually I do kind of agree with. And this author has his own direction one at the very beginning of the book, actually. He says, for all those who are too busy to read fat books, yet nonetheless seek a conduit to the cosmos. Direction two. This might be the first time I don't have a direction two. Honestly, I do not know what book to recommend after checking this one out. Actually, Never mind. Pretend the, the last five to 10 seconds didn't happen in there. I recommend checking out Walter Isaacson's biography of Einstein. This is one of the most well-known biographies. I don't think there's a more popular biography of, of Albert Einstein. And Albert Einstein, he did some things that like, I don't think anyone in the world could do now. But like, you know, with the way things are going, <laughs> Someday there are going to be thousands of Einsteins. Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. There's a link in the description if you guys want to check it out and read the reviews. That and all the other books that I mentioned in this video as well if you want to check those out too. If there are any other books that you guys want me to check out and review, please let me know in the comments below. Also let me know if you checked out this book and you liked it, but hey, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already because I don't know why people watch this far into my videos and they don't subscribe, but if you did subscribe and you want to turn it up just a notch and join the notification squad to get a notification every time I drop a new video, turn on that little notification bell. That would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can find me everywhere and I will see you then.